come right on in. This is Homekeepers. I welcome you to Homekeepers and hope you'll stay with us. Grab yourself a cup of tea or whatever you like and just uh, take a little break and enjoy whatever part of the day it is for you. We have people in California and different parts of the world. We're in uh, Florida, which is Eastern time, so there's three hours difference there. But wherever you are, we love hearing from you and it makes us happy to know that we are going into the homes and hearts of untold thousands of people around the world. And if this is the first time you've seen the program, uh, we've been on the air a long time, but we do try to emphasize those things that are important to the home. Uh, it is my belief that if America could ever get back to Christian homes, and that's with married parents and father and mother with the children, make all the difference in the world for our nation. So this is our effort to try to just keep a spotlight on that. And uh, what's more important than your children in the home, huh? I don't know of anything. And I believe if one of the first things you give them, you know, have a bottle probably, and then give them a book, it will put them on a path uh, that more likely will be successful than a lot of things you could give them. And my guest today, Beverly Benkowski, uh, probably agrees with that because we're going to talk about her book for children, uh, Good Manners Says Mannerly. Mannerly is a dog, and Mannerly teaches good man. We've got a picture of Mannerly. I think I want you to take a look at that adorable dog. I mean, who couldn't love that? And that doggy will teach your children and probably you <laughs> a lot of good manners. She's done a great job weaving good manners through here and, and what the Bible has to say about them. Um, you are going to enjoy meeting this delightful author. And then later on in the program, uh, Wanda Bascom, who has been with me for far longer than a decade and an integral part of this program, uh, she's going to come back on uh, because the last time she was on, told about how her husband passed away a little more than two years ago. And I want you to just have an update. You love her and uh, where she is now. And most importantly, what the Lord has done for her. I'm telling you, he doesn't forget the widows, really. If you are in that kind of a transition, you can count on Jesus to be with you. And, and Wanda's just a living, breathing illustration of that. So um, she's going to come on here. After she cooks, we're going to make apple pie bites. These are little tiny itty bitty apple pies and I think you'll be interested to see how easy they are and very tasty. We'll fix those for you after I tell you about winning the money game. This is written by one of my guests, Ike Ikowu, and he uh, is a brilliant money manager, wealth management uh, specialist and he wrote this book. He goes to uh, Jensen Franklin's church. He's a wonderful Christian. I was very impressed with him. And this book will take you beyond just your uh, everyday budget, you know, and your grocery list and that kind of thing. It takes you beyond uh, understanding money on a bigger plane, such as investment, real estate, retirement, that kind of thing. And uh, this book is available to you through Homekeepers for a gift of at least $20.00 plus the shipping, it's on there. And a lot of people really like to use their credit card nowadays or their debit card, You're free to use that. Just call 1-800-229-0059. And all this information is on your screen. And our address is Homekeepers, Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. And I've joined Wanda over here. You know, I've had viewers say, give us the address which is why i do because some of them are hearing are uh, vision impaired yep and so <laughs> when we say the uh that so that's the reason and i i appreciate these viewers who constantly educate us don't they they do they do well it's been nice to have you stephanie's you. been gone she's been cooking for us for a few days and getting back in the groove it takes a little it does getting back in the groove it does i've missed some stuff but god bless susan who helps yeah. me <laughs> there I'm going to uh, challenge you. These are um, apple pie bites. Okay. Mm -hmm. She said this one. You, did you get it the first time? Well, you weren't mean I guess enough. I'm you just, I guess I wasn't that mean. These are your croissant. Mm -hmm. um, 
do I just stand here and look gorgeous or should I do oh, something? Oh, sweetie. Oh, we absolutely. Need this. We need to do this, don't I? With this. Uh huh. We'll mix that together. You can use that if you want. And this is uh, apple pie allspice, but tell them what that's made of because you educated me on that. Oh, well, if you don't have apple pie spice, you can take allspice, you can take cinnamon and nutmeg, and you get the same result. Yeah, and you looked it up, and that's exactly what's in there, right? Well, I just read the ingredients when oh. we did find it, so I was like, okay, good. But yeah, I just figured that out, you know, when I was a uh, young mom, and I just didn't have uh, an ingredient. I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? And I just realized that, you know what, I could come by just tasting. Wanda and is the work. type that could do that. My mother-in-law could do that. Yeah. Years and years ago, she she liked this dressing from Neiman Marcus. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who wouldn't? She tasted that a long time and oh yeah, figured it out. Yep, you can. Absolutely can. I don't have that gift. You don't? Oh, I think well, you might be surprised. Well, if we run out of space, we can go ahead and just... Well, I'm going to... I'm, yeah, I am. So I'm going to take this right now. How'd I do? Oh, you <laughs> did. Jess, I am so proud of you. You're so good. You want an easy way to make an apple pie, I tell you, because I haven't tasted it yet, but I have a feeling it tastes exactly like a good apple pie. Well, we, well, we hope so. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. And what you're basically doing, you're just going to sprinkle this over on top and... and um, just for time. Which is your apple pie seasoning. Yes. And then when you do that, um, you can just sprinkle. I just kind of pat it out, but that's me. You don't have to mm -hmm. do that. But, And then you just want to put some pecans, chopped pecans mm -hmm. in here. I think I need a little more in here. And if you don't think you have enough, you can always put more brown sugar and, mm -hmm. and um, the apple pie spice in there. And so then... Now this is a green apple that we... The Granny Smith. Yep. And we took the core out and you leave the peeling now, on. Now don't those have some butter on them? This does have butter on it. You coat them in butter. And then what you do, we're just going to roll it up and that will actually give you a little more room on your pan in case you're panicked. Mm -hmm. And so that's what it looks like when you start the rolling. It's just one little apple slice. It They're really called is. apple pie bites. And you know, for me, that much would probably be enough. Uh, we had a guest the other day. You weren't down here, mm -mm. but she had had gastric bypass surgery. Yes, Karen Gilman. Uh huh. And uh, how it's portions, and Americans just eat such huge portions. Well, I forgot where I went with my sister, and there was so much food. It was like three or four days of eating, mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, this is ridiculous. Yeah, this is America. It really, really is not good for you. Okay, as you can see, we're getting mm -hmm. more room here mm -hmm. in the pan. And by the way, you're supposed to use like parchment paper, but we didn't have any mm -hmm. left in our kitchen. So we used a little bit of the, of the spray, Just, but uh, spray oops, a few of the nuts. Now, uh, would parchment make it better? Well, the reason you like to have parchment, when you use grease on these kind of things, they have a tendency to burn much quicker. Oh, okay. Parchment, now I at home never use parchment. I have a Silpat. Yeah. And I love that because I can use it for my cookies and I don't have to worry about things burning. And here is the finished product. They are so cute. And I think some <laughs> caramel sauce on this would be good. Oh, well, With I some was whipped cream. Yeah, I want to well, get a part of the apple there. I bet caramel sauce would be very, very good on here. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of put cheese with apple pie? Um, well, I have. I have, yes, but I never did. No, I never did, but I was thinking it might be, I want such a big one that I... Mm. What do you think? It tastes like an apple pie. There you go. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. And we'll take it. And then in the very end, what you do is you mm, melt some butter and you just Put it over the mm -hmm. top. Mm -hmm. Bake it at 375 until it's nice and golden brown. It's about what? 12, 15 minutes? Um, 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd look. I don't know. Susan, God bless her. Oh, it's very good. Look. She would. Um, she and did you it. put ice cream on it, or it's got a lot of possibilities, friends. This would be something. Um, you know, when you have your granddaughters over. Oh, yeah. They'd have fun oh, they would have a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, another thing you can do, too, if, if you like something that 
looks a little more brown than what these mm -hmm. came out as. You can always take a little bit of butter and brown sugar and, and, and melt it, then coat the top mm -hmm. of it, and it, it'll, it'll get nice and, nice and brown, or even milk. Well, I, I used to, I had I used a to bite do that on really my pies. It really does taste good. If you like apple pie, that's what it tastes like. So if you would like to have <coughs> this recipe, they're absolutely free. You don't get a whole lot of free things in life, but these are. Email us or write to us. We'll get it right out to you. And I want you to stay and meet uh, Beverly. And we're going to talk about this darling children's book. If you would like a copy of today's recipe, just write to the address on your screen. Or you can email your request to artheline at rippy.org. encourage you enough uh, grandparents great-grandparents in fact I'm a great-grandparent I just gave a children's book to um, my two-year-old great-grandchild um, instead of junk give them books and my guest uh, Beverly has combined something so adorable with something so teachable welcome thank you and congratulations on a precious book thank it's you just precious. very much and the, uh, you'll find the illustrations are just, you just want to reach out and hug them. Uh, who drew these for you? My 14-year-old uh, great niece, Paige, Paige Frangioni. She's from Pittsburgh. She did my drawings for me. They came out to visit one year, about three years ago, and her mom and dad and she. And uh, I was sitting on the couch, and she was drawing on the iPad. And I had written Mannerly's uh, verses and things, and I wanted to... Uh, I knew in my mind what I wanted Mannerly to look like. Mm -hmm. And she started drawing, and I said, Paige, will you draw a circus for Aunt Bev? And she said, sure. So she drew the circus, and I said, how would you like to do a project with me? And I told her about my book, and I told them about my book, and she said, sure. And we She's did. just naturally talented. Oh, That's very all you naturally can say. talented. 14 you bet. years old. You bet. Now, Mannerly is a, a true character that you can really get acquainted with. And um, this, you've got other books in the pipeline. I sure do. But this one teaches manners. And uh, teaches scripture along with it. And you know the wonderful th thing about a children's book is they get attached to them and they ask you to read them over and over and over again. That has been the response, mm -hmm. absolutely. And they're attached to the book and they just read it, read it, read it. It gives moms and dads and grandmas and grandpaps an easy way to teach the kids manners it without really having to lecture. <laughs> it really does. Um, we have a, I believe we have a website and it's up there now. Uh, you can get the book through that. But... Quickly, you know, we'll go through uh, respecting your elders, and and it has a scripture for each one uh, about helping others, bullying. You've mm -hmm. got that in there. Friendship, kindness, forgiveness, sharing, honesty, uh, using good I language. I think parents <laughs> you learn a lot <laughs> reading this too. Well, when somebody <laughs> says the age group, they say it's free on up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was my next yeah. question. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, three until you die, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, How'd you come up with the idea with the name oh. Mannerly? Because I know you're going to do books besides manners. I, God just planted the seed one day, and I went from there. I d and he made it so easy. When it's his will, it just is an easy thing to do. It's And I'm going to have Mannerly in a second book, and it's called It Matters, Says Mannerly. This is for the next age group up, actually. And it covers things like attitude, humility, confidence, That's determination, wonderful. others. And then... I have a book in mind already for toddlers, and then I actually want Mannerly to become like a puppet, a, a, a stuffed animal, games, toys, board games, greeting cards, videos for the kids to learn more easily Wonderful. and to have him in their lives every day. Yeah, and but this first book is so important. You said from about age three. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful opportunity to start drilling into their little tiny minds. Absolutely. Good manners. We need, to go, we need to bring God back into the kids' lives. They need to know that he's there and he's there for them and ways to deal with what he's teaching them. Yeah, and we need to bring good manners back. <laughs> Absolutely. That's, yeah, that was, that was my first thought also. Uh -huh. And uh, this has scriptures, but it also has, if, you know, if they're really too young to grasp a scripture, it has 
what the manner is and why it's important that you use it. And it teaches in their terms and the, the way that they can understand the scripture. You're right. I said at the uh, top, you know, <coughs> how kids want a book over and over. You might read the same book every night at bedtime. Mm -hmm. I remember when one of my grandchildren was attached to a book like that. And uh, he wasn't watching the book. I was reading it and a page got stuck and he told me. You missed You one. missed a page, yeah. You betcha. So that's exactly what they are. I hope you, you've got that website, friends, because um, she's done a lot of the grunt work, as I say. Uh, grandmas and moms don't have to figure this out. Absolutely. It, it's done for you. It's very entertaining. They can do it all in one day or they can take a theme a night and, and read it to the kids and break it down. Well, you've done a wonderful job oh, with greatly this. Greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. And I, I hope you'll take advantage of it. And most of us with our children, if we could do it over, there's things we'd do better. I, I have no complaints. I have wonderful children, but but just some of these little details, and you've helped you've helped with that. So um, stay with me. I've got a break here, and then Wanda's going to join me and uh, bring you up to date on what's been happening with her. So stay with us. Arthelene would like you to keep the following information handy. You may contact Homekeepers by writing to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758, or go to www.rippy.org. Remember, we always enjoy hearing from our viewers, and we thank you for your support. Well, I'm glad to have Wanda on with me uh, so many of you write, you know, and you wonder how she's doing. You're looking gorgeous, darling. Just Thank gorgeous, you. Just gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, and um, I want to catch up on something that I missed. Okay. Um, and it, it's got to do with another show, but I had a, a catch-up show, I think I was telling you about, with, with my daughter Meredith and her friend Diana, mm -hmm. who'd been on 10 years ago. Diana had been in a plane crash, and my daughter had gone through cancer and chemotherapy and all. And I got so carried away with that show, um, we were all crying, and failed to, to mention um, Meredith's website, my own daughter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to give it to you again and show you just a little bit. She's a professional harpist and uh, in the Tampa Bay area, and she's played around the world, but uh, in the Tampa Bay area, and I thought, she didn't even know, but I thought, I, you know, as a mother, you have to, so that's it, mcharper.com, uh, Meredith Kaufman, harp, harpist, and uh, so I neglect to do that, I want to put that up, and I knew you wouldn't care. Yeah. Right. Uh, last time you were here, I thought the viewers were just, just uh, so responsive, like, where's Wanda been? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what happened. Uh, several years ago, her health was in just, I, I really didn't know if you're going to make it. I didn't know how much longer right. I would have you. And she had to give up uh, the cooking part. And then after that, your husband got, uh, was terminally ill mm -hmm. and uh, died of pancreatic cancer. And you were on uh, a year or what after that? Oh, here. probably, yeah. About a year. Yeah. And again, the audience was so glad to uh, catch up. So what's been happening the last last year? Well, I think prior to the time um, that I was on here the last time, I've since moved. Mm -hmm. I, moved out, I moved out of our condo that my husband and I shared together for 16 years. And, you know, that's kind of, that was, that was grueling, I will have to say. I mean, I'd call my friend up on the phone and I'd be crying, I can't do this. <laughs> this is too hard. And it just, everything seemed overwhelming to you. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you asked me the question to talk about the faithfulness of God. Well, you know, God is so faithful. A week before Christmas, um, I get a letter in the mail, and that secondary loan had been forgiven, which means that we could have sold the house outright now as a regular sale. So, I mean, who would have thought that that would have happened? So the house sold, um, a cash deal. I had to be out by March. And you were expecting foreclosure, bankruptcy, I Exactly. I mean, I, you know, when you go through what we went through in the financial downfall and after everything that happened, he was just too sick. And when you go through things like that, you, it, it can seriously rock 
your faith mm -hmm. and, and what you think and what you believe. But on the other hand, because we went through the darkest hours of our lives, um, we connected to God in a way we had never connected to Him before. And I think really, you know what the Bible says, um, if you seek God with all of your heart, I mean really seek Him, and you have nothing to give, He has a way of coming in and supping with you. And, and, and He's like your very best friend. So aside from that, I, I walked into this, this condo, went right online as soon as my lawyer said, you've got to be out in so many days. And I'm like, really? And so I went, on, I went online. I found two places I wanted to look at. The first one I walked in, I knew it was where God wanted me to be. And that's exactly what I asked of, of my father. Let me know that this is where you want me to be. Because if I don't have peace, then shut the door. I don't want to live there. Mm -hmm. But I, I just thought, oh, I know what this is going to go. And that, I just knew where everything was going to be. But, and I moved. And I'm like, I can't believe I did this. Gosh. This was amazing. And so, but there's been just so many things that God has done. We often wonder, um, you know, is God going to come through with me for this? And you know, oftentimes I bring and I have to remind myself of the miracles of what God has done in my past because He's going to do it in the future. He's always faithful. We're not faithful, but He's always faithful. Can I tell him about your car? Sure. Ooh, I hope we have time. Well, I don't think we told that last time, did we? No, no. It's a uh, long story. I'll try to make it short. But she had her husband's SUV. It was nice and she was really attached to it. And these strange things began to happen. Finally figured out that the, the company was, although you were making the payments. I was. car wasn't in her name, and so they were going right. to take it from her. Right. So she's sitting at her desk crying, yep. and Herman Bailey walks by, yep. who knows more about cars than anybody in the world, tell him the story, and I'm crying with her because uh, they're going to take her car. And um, even though the payments are made, this is what's so crazy to me. And so <laughs> Herman stands there and says, let it go. And I yeah, said, are you crazy she wants her husband's car so I we did i mean everything everything that my husband you know spent his whole life earning and doing was like dying and being gone and taken in just moments of of his life uh, after he was gone and i'm like going can this be for real <laughs> but you know long story short that yeah. night and she was leaving town the next day i was i mean god can just fit into any thing that's going on any time frame long story short turn the car in they paid her some money for it oh yeah and she got a brand new car yep. with a lower payment yeah they actually bought the car for me because i can't trade in a uh -huh. car i don't own uh -huh. i'm like <laughs> well isn't it like bequeathing me after my mate passes away i you mean would doesn't think. it work that way but apparently it doesn't and i i, I just couldn't believe it and really that was almost the last thing that i was gripping on so tightly to hold on to what I could hold on to from my husband. And, um, and it just seems like that, that's, that's one of the hard things you deal with is that when the love of your life passes away, everything ends. I mean, <laughs> they came, they shut my credit cards down because it was under his company. And I, I'm like, what am I going to do? And I, I was like in trouble yeah. immediately. It wasn't, it wasn't like a month. Oh no, I was in trouble immediately. The phone, the whole time oh, yeah, he was, I was there. He was ill. I mean, the phone wouldn't stop ringing with the creditors and I'm like going, oh Jesus, this is not good. <laughs> but God is so faithful. He's I know. So, and, and you think, so if wonderful. Herman hadn't, Herman usually leaves earlier than that. Yeah, that's if true. If Herman I mean, had an understanding of what was going on, mm -hmm. I don't think we did. I know I didn't. Oh, and, I have to tell you a story <laughs> on that. So the next morning we're leaving for the airport, right? I haven't driven the car for very long mm. well like maybe not even 20 minutes uh -huh. just to get home and we're leaving at about 4 30 in the morning and <laughs> we're on main street and i turn left to go down uh east bay and you know a cop pulls me over and my son goes oh, you just let me deal with him i'll take care of him <laughs> i says i think you better keep your mouth quiet honey let let mom take care of it this guy said ma'am do you I s do you know why i stopped you and i said i haven't a clue <laughs> And he said, your bright lights were on. I said, well, big deal. I said, really? I said, you know what? It could very well be. I just got this car last night. I don't even know where the lights no, are. I, yeah, and I was looking. I said, you know what? You're right. And I didn't know there's a huge fine for that. I mean, mm -hmm. who would think? 
Well, there is, trust me. There is. But, you know, I it was interesting. I'm sitting there having a wonderful conversation with this officer about Jesus and what <laughs> God has done for me and this car, and I'm flying to New York. I'm going to bury my husband. And, you know, it it was just a wonderful, a wonderful Every blessing. Every step of the way. That's the one thing I told Wanda we want to talk about. My husband died in 1977. Mm. It's been a long time. And I can tell you that the Lord has been there every step of the way. He's yeah. taken care of me. He's gotten my kids through college. Mm. And that was that was important to me. They both have a college degree. And um, I've watched, we've watched two widows now in your church. Oh, yeah. How yeah. God sustains. Yes, he does. And um, there's really nothing to fear. No. There's a lot of grief. Yeah. And sorrow and many people who are watching know exactly what we're talking about but there's nothing to fear no and Wanda has been an illustration to me of, of God's grace and caring all the way through you were holding your husband when he died mm -hmm. you were right there took care of him mm -hmm. all the way it was a blessing to come back to work mm -hmm. and uh I, I'm watch totally, the healing I, process I, I want you to know is that as 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 difficult as things were, and it brought me to my knees, I mean, actually prostrate on the floor, crying before God. You know, it's so funny because what you go through is, after you try giving God all the reasons why you want your mate to stay alive, mm -hmm. then you grip with the fact that, okay, God, you know, if, if Jesus can pray in the garden, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done, why can't I say the same thing? Nevertheless, God, but your will will be done in all of this and I'll trust you even though I don't see the bigger picture I trust in my father and I will tell you it's been two years mm -hmm. I've never once not had peace praise God never and he once. said my peace I leave with you he does. Um, we're just about out of time I lost my brother-in-law last year and my sister misses him so much they were together like 24 7 for mm -hmm. 56 years but she said, then I have to remember the suffering. Right. And you, I'm sure you do. Yep. Bill suffered. They don't suffer anymore. Praise no. God. They are with the Lord. And the Apostle Paul said, it's far better yeah. to be with the Lord. Lord, I thank you for my home. Thank you for the car. Thank you for all these things. Yes. But it's far better to be with him. Amen. Well, I knew you wanted to see Wanda again. <laughs> You're welcome, darling. I couldn't get along thank without you. her. Nor you. Join me next time remembering there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. If you should miss a homekeeper's program, you can catch up by going to www.ctnonline.com. Click on CTN Programs and then on Homekeepers.